didn't even. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You're having too much fun. <laughs> Happy New Year's! <laughs> Yay! Woo! <laughs> okay. Anyway. Alright, I'm taking it. Yeah. This oh, taking crazy. that. It was driving me nuts to. It has like this rubber bandy thing that goes under your neck and it's kind of annoying. Oh, anyway. <laughs> it is. Right now, New Year's Eve, but by the time you guys watch this, it will be... 2017. Uh, it will be 2017. Let's, let's get a little closer. There, that looks so much better. <laughs> okay. So anyway, New Year's mm -hmm. Eve, we played it safe. Didn't want to go out. Well, we're just not really that... We're not the party animals. <laughs> we never have been party animals. So we played it safe, like always. We stayed in, and we watched a movie. What did we watch? Sully. We watched Sully. What did you think? I liked it. I was. It was a really good movie. I thought it was good. I think Tom Hanks did an incredible job He's acting. He's a great actor. He though. is. I. I am blown away each time uh, we get to watch him. I mean, he is a master of his craft. He was is... that his real gray hair, or did they have to dye it? I don't know. Because I know he's I wasn't old. on. I wasn't on the hair committee. Smarty pants. Anyway. <laughs> fantastic movie. Hi, I recommend it. I, I do too. <laughs> I give it four and a half out of five. Four to four and a half stars out of five. It was a good movie. I just didn't realize there was so much behind him landing that they didn't think he. That they yeah they. That he should have landed in the Hudson. Yeah, they thought that anyway. I'm not going to give it all away. I want them to watch it. They probably watched the news too, when it happened. It was all over the news. I just. It was all over the news. Then. So, but it was anyway, a really good movie. Great movie. Highly recommend it. I do too. Anyway, we. Uh, we've got this party plan going on <laughs> planned out. Uh, we've got some dessert. Check this. We've got some. Oh man, look at that! It look at that. Would you would you look at that? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. What is this? It is a Nutella fudge brownie. Nutella fudge. Okay, you've sold me. It's Nutella. It's fudge, and it's a brownie. I know. You put it on your pin? I Pinterest. pinned it on Pinterest. I saw that you had pinned it, and I thought, you know what? That looks like it would be somewhat easy to make. Was it easy? It was okay. It takes time because you have to make the brownies first, cook them, let it cool off, then make the fudge and put it on top, let it set. So, I know how much you like Nutella. Yes. And I thought we'd end the year on a good note, and you have some Nutella. We're ending it on a good note. Going to be starting 2017 on a good note. So much to look forward to in 2017. It's um, going to be a good year. So here's what we want to do. We wanted to, uh, as you're here at the table with us, like we've talked about before, um, we want to spend a few minutes just kind of talking about 2016 and then looking forward to 2017. Uh, and as we do it, we have, obviously, a craft soda. This one is by Abita, or Abida. It is a vanilla cream soda. They are out of Louisiana. Abita Springs, Louisiana. Uh, simple ingredients, water, cane sugar, vanilla extract, natural flavors, and carbon dioxide. What? Anyway, they say it's all natural. Um, it's gluten-free. It is glutton-free. Caffeine-free. I don't need a lot of caffeine. I need a lot of caffeine. Uh, it, but I needed some today, it, too. It is made with pure Louisiana cane sugar. I was looking at the design on there. It looks like a feather or something. No, that's sugar cane. Oh. <laughs> anyway, nice. so this is what we've got for tonight. Pry off cap. Can't pry this one. I can't. It's not a screw top. Do you need a little thingy? Yeah, I need a little thingy. Uh, anyway, so real quick, um, as we... Thank you, babe. You're welcome. As we 
kind of review 2016. It it didn't. I don't think it started off it, very well. It didn't. It didn't feel like it started off all that well. But as the year progressed, things got so much better. Uh, I got to remember to stay on camera as I pour. Um, I struggle with doing a lot of things at once. Doing multiple things. Two th I can't do two things Some at once. Some people can't multitask. I, ca I can't pour and talk at the same time. Oh, we weren't. No, we didn't have to. We didn't have to uh, invert to uh, pour. No, just that one. Anyway, let's try the Abita's Vanilla Cream Soda. Oh, that's good. It's different. It is a mellow taste. It's real mild. Mm -hmm. Not, it, meaning that it doesn't over bur it doesn't overbear your uh, taste buds with vanilla or sugar or anything else i it's think by real... the second sip i could taste more of the vanilla yeah you can mm -hmm. taste a little more of the vanilla um it's not uh uber fizzy uh, or carbonated that is um it's got bubbles it's got great color to it it's got good color. It's got bubbles, which makes you think of New Year's. Bubbles! Anyway. Happy New Year's! Hey! I was not expecting that. Anyway, so again, 2016 didn't really feel like it started off that great for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we were kind of still trying to recover from the whole lump thing. Yeah. Um, I think what I was trying to cover for recover from was that they were preparing you for cancer, and so it was kind of is that good? Oh my god! That is amazing. It's not bad. I'm not that big of a Nutella fan like you are. No, but it is. I was worried that it was going to be super rich. And you had said something about yeah. that earlier tonight while well, you were making it. Because it's like a homemade brownie. It's not a. It's not a box brownie. They it's make not. It, you make it with cocoa powder and everything else. And I've never made brownies that way before. Wow. It was pretty good. Oh man. Anyway, okay. So, uh, highlight for the year. For twenty sixteen. Yeah. Well, the most recent thing would be Daniel and Jessica telling us that they're having a baby. Yes. Uh, I think that's equally as exciting, but that's the that's one of the things I'm super stoked about for 2017. Really, really excited. Uh, we got kind of a, I guess you'd call it a preliminary due date because it's still so early in the pregnancy. But no, she had, she had a sonogram and went to the doctor and everything and they've already given her a due date and it's my birthday. How exciting is that? It's exciting. It is. Anyway, not, I'm, obviously you guys can tell how excited we are about this. Um, but. We're going to rock it as grandparents. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I've got so many ideas going through my head. <laughs> I need to start writing them down so I don't forget them. Because it, it... And and we already warned them about this. But they still have no clue. They have <laughs> no clue. And I'm sure that they're going to watch this. But they have no clue the amount of... Mischievous... Mis mischief. mischief. <laughs> the amount of mischief that... That child. <laughs> I can bring to the table. They have no clue whatsoever. As many times as we've gotten phone calls for Daniel at school for things. Oh, <laughs> payback. Payback it's is be fun. Oh man, he does. He has no clue at all. I think at Christmas when we told him that he was like, "Yeah, I get it," but 
<laughs> he Mm-mm. doesn't know you very well then, does he? <laughs> he has no clue. I do feel sorry. I have a special set of skills. <laughs> I will... Oh. I was once told that a mild's chine is a... a, a, a child's a mind. A child's <laughs> mind is a terrible thing not to mess with. <laughs> and uh, we that to and I, I told them both this. Challenge accepted. Um, I feel sorry a little bit for Jessica. Oh, no. But then Dan reminded she me She wanted this. She wanted to marry him. <laughs> so... So she kind of she kind of <laughs> asked for it. Uh, but any, we, we do love her. We do. Um, they're going to be great parents. Um, so one of how the heck did I get a? Where do we get feathers from? Um, that blanket on oh, our couch. Okay. Uh, okay. So a highlight for me was starting the vlog. Oh. I mean, we've well, had a lot of fun, and we've been able to take them with us. I mean, we've done a lot of fun things. And I was going through some of the... I was looking at the the history of some of the things that we've done. We went to the World War One Museum. We went to a restaurant launch for our friends. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Never been to a restaurant launch. No, but they, and they're, by the way, they're doing great. Um, what else did we do? We went to Pompeii, and I'm sorry, guys, I know that I've told you we're working on the... I was just thinking about that the other day. It's I'm like still, we're, we're still working on the Pompeii video. And I'm sorry it's taking this long. I never anticipated for it to take this long, but I really want to make sure that you guys get a top-notch video. Kind of taking things a little farther than I have with other projects, because I'm trying to put so much effort into this. I, I've actually brought on somebody to help me with this. Lloyd, aka Protopotamus. By the way, I'm going to plug his new project that he's working on. It's called Hippocritical. Aww. It, I know. He's so he, good with, like... I, I know. <laughs> Maybe we should let him name Daniel Jessica's baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So he started a new project called Hippocritical. Uh, if you haven't looked him up over on the YouTubes, I'll try and put a link in the description to over to his channel. But our friend Protopotamus, a.k.a. Lloyd, and his wife, they do gaming Let's Plays. Uh, they stream on Twitch. They also post up stuff on the YouTubes. And they just have a blast together. They do vlogs. I think they're starting them back up in 2017. They've kind of taken a break. Um... But he started a new project called Hippocritical, where he's going to be doing uh, 20 minutes or less talking about gaming news. And his most recent episode, his first episode, was about um, a new Nintendo thing coming out later in 2017 called Nintendo Switch. What? Yeah, it looks kind of neat. We got the Nintendo Classic thing yet. Nope. But it looks really cool, and... I learned quite a bit from watching it, and he's talking about starting a podcast. So he's been bugging me on a lot of the, a lot of the stuff on the back scene, backside, that have to do with that. Uh, anyway, super excited to see what goes, what he is able to produce um, in 2017. Um, Let's see, what else did we do? We did World War One Museum, we did the, the Pompeii, exhibit. we did the, the Da Vinci exhibit. That was cool. I really liked that. Yes. Um, oh, we did the uh, the airplane thing. Oh, yeah, well, we got sunburn burnt to a crisp. Oh, yeah. Hashtag sunburn. Has sunburn ma- sun, sun sunscreen. burns matters. Sunscreen matters. Gosh, I can't <laughs> talk. Uh, anyway, so we did that. That was really fun. Um... But we've got, we've been trying to put our heads together and we've got quite a few ideas already lined out for 2017. <clears throat> um, and obviously you guys are going to be coming with us. So uh, I've got two things that I'm super excited for, for 2017. Our 20-year wedding anniversary. Oh, 
Yes, that's coming up in a couple months. I know. 20 years, can you imagine? It doesn't matter. You can. What? <laughs> you can imagine because you've lived it. But there's some days it doesn't feel like it's been It doesn't. Night. It doesn't feel like it's been 20 years. It feels like we're still newlyweds. Which Except is for good. for mornings when you get up and you're all crackly and you're like, I don't want to get up. But that's a sign that we're going to be a grandparent. I had that like two, three years ago before Daniel got married. Oh. And it was getting old. You're not even 40. How can you say that you're, that you're old? I'm closer to 40 than I am 35. That's because you've already passed it. <laughs> no. You can't go back. You can only go forward. No, to our wedding anniversary, the baby being born. Yes, our grandchild be bo being born. That's super Starting exciting. Starting a new chapter in our whole entire life. Yes. They're just now getting started writing their book of life, I guess you could call it. Um, man, that stuff is so good. The more you eat it, though, the more, it, to me, it feels like... I'm pacing myself. I don't know how you didn't eat a piece that big. I'm going to. It's good. It's good. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, all of that being said, again, we had a spectacular 2016. For the most part. Yeah. There were some good things, even though I felt like there were a lot of bad. Just a lot of downs. Yeah, but, but we're happy. We're I'm not focused on the bads. I'm focused on all the good stuff that happened. Um, but I think we made a lot of new friends. But I think 2016 was a tough year for just about everybody. It was. Because I've been seeing that on Facebook. A lot of friends that just talked about like they're so ready for 2016 to be over and move on to 2017 because they've just had... I I'm telling you, 2017 is going to be a great year. I have a good feeling about it, too. So. We are going to make 2017 great. We're going to rock it. We're going on a rocket? No. We're going to rock 2017. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, you think you've eaten too much of them to tell us that? No, I haven't. I haven't even made it halfway through. You're like Nutella drunk. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even halfway through. I only took like three bites. You sure it was like the size of that plate? I'm serious. It was only like three bites. Three bites. The big bites. <laughs> anyway, like, well, it's about like so, ten. <laughs> so um, I figured now is a good time. Uh, and you don't even know this, but my head was going crazy today. It was like. <gasps> <laughs> and <laughs> my head was going a mile a minute today. It does that most generally. I know. But uh, I've had some people ask about what we're going to do for more content. They want more. They want more of us? They just want more stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you two things. Two things to look forward to in 2017. I don't know um, yet. She doesn't know this, but um, as far as the website goes, as you guys know, I've been, I work on it off and on, every now and then, just basically tweaking the way the font looks or the colors, which are super simple. It's black and it's white. Um, with red. With red. I, I, I work on trying to make sure it's very appealing to the eye and really, really easy to read. And I think that I've done a really good job with that, but one thing really bothers me, and that is ads. I hate ads. I hate being blocked from websites that have tons of ads. I run an ad blocker on my computers, uh, and I can't, I don't see ads, and, but I get shut down from all these other websites, and that's okay. I, I don't even go to them. I tried to go look at an article today, and I couldn't because they were blocking me because I was blocking all of their ads. Uh, anyway. One big block party. <laughs> Corny jokes. That's what I'm going to do in 2017. 
<laughs> you make me feel bad. I'm not trying I to. I thought it was a funny joke. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Since I hate ads so much, I, have, I, I, I hardly run any ads at all on the website. I really only have like two or three Amazon ads. They're going away. Uh-oh. That's it? That's one of the things? That's one of the things. I'm getting rid of all the Amazon ads. So, here's, here's my only request with that. As we continue to go forward and give you as much as we can, uh, there are expenses that go into doing what we do. There's expenses for the show, for hosting the website, um making sure that all the software and the hardware is updated so we can bring you good content, what we feel is good content. Um, but it comes at a cost. And we're, as we move, as we get rid of all of the ads, you're, you're only going to see one thing on the website that actually looks like an ad but really it's not <clears throat> all we're doing is supporting a friend of ours you guys know him um rubble road tactical mm -hmm. uh, they've been very good to us they're very good friends um, <coughs> they are like family to us and they're so as a favor for everything that they've do for us uh, which in their eyes probably seems super small. But as a favor to them, what we're doing is we have a tiny little picture on our website that looks like an ad, but it's not. All it is is just a link that sends you over to their website so you can order one of, that you can order your very own custom handmade holster. I mean, it's slick really has a great product and I'm super excited that they've done what they've done with the holster business um, so that's one all ads are gone uh, if you do want to say drop a dollar or two in our bucket it's really easy there's two ways to do it you can one stay on the website and click the donate button or two if you're on the YouTubes you can click the, uh, I don't even know what it is, I think it's a donate button or something. I don't know. I have it. Uh, mm. I don't know. Anyway, so two tiny, I mean, if you, if you like the content, we give it all for you for free anyway. We're going to continue to do that, but know that a lot of this comes at a cost. We don't ask for expenses to be covered to go and do anything. No. Anything that we do receive goes straight back into the show, the website, all of that stuff. We don't keep anything for ourselves. So, uh, again, all the ads are gone. Uh, just some promotional things to help promote some of our friends, very close friends. Um, but the only thing we do ask is, instead of using all of those, any affiliate links that we may have had, drop a dollar or two in a bucket if you feel so obliged. Uh, second thing, I'm going to undertake a project. Uh oh Yeah, it's going to be, I hope that it's not overwhelming. It sounds really fun, <coughs> but I'm hoping to have them edited and posted on YouTube on Thursdays. So hopefully they go up on Thursdays. So here's my idea. I always have thoughts that run through my head and I want to have a way to get them out and share them with you because most of the time whenever I think of them instead of writing them down I just think about them for a little bit and I go on with my day and then, um, I forget about them. And then I forget about them it really it sucks I do that all the time yes so instead of writing them down I normally just think about them and that's it it's done it's over with so here's my idea um, Posting a short little video like on, it's like a micro vlog almost, of talking about a thought that I've had throughout the day or throughout the week, and I'm giving it some thought and I want to share it with you guys. I don't want to say a rant, but that's almost kind of like. 
Yeah, I don't the want it to be. The sounds a... more like negative. Yeah. No, it's not going to be negative. It's going to be a lot of positive things. It, again, it's going to be a way for me to share things, share thoughts, share ideas. Um, if there's something that I'm studying, I might just share that with you. But I think what we're going to do is on the YouTubes, we'll probably use like hashtag Thursday thoughts or something along those lines. Uh, so it gets posted every Thursday. Um, I think that's something exciting. Hopefully they start here. In the new year. In the very, <laughs> at the start of the new year. Uh, I've already got, <coughs> I've already got one idea that I want to talk to you guys about and it kind of goes along with what we do here. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. But anyway, we're just, uh, I, know, I feel like I'm doing all the talking. You are. You got your thoughts that you were going <laughs> to, what's going to happen in the new year. Anyway, what are you excited about? I don't know. I just want it to be a better year. I just want to feel good mentally, spiritually, physically. I just want to feel better. What are you doing it. about it physically? Well, I... <laughs> what are you going to do? <clears throat> I'm going to try and get on the treadmill exercise or something so that I can feel better physically. I think, see, for me, the more I work out, uh, whether it's on the treadmill or riding a bike or working out, um, I've noticed that I feel better spiritually and emotionally. Yeah. I just, it's just, I think right now I'm stuck in a rut because you, this week has been just really long at work and you're tired when you get home, but there's always some chore to be done and dinner to be cooked and things that have got to get done. And then so you're just kind of like, oh, why didn't, I don't want to add one more thing to my list when I already got like a hundred that I haven't marked off. So it's just, but being a new year, I figure I'm just going to try and plan time when I get home from work as long as it's not too late. It makes it hard when you work like nine ten hour days then to come home and do all that stuff yeah and then cook dinner but it is what it is if it's something you really want you will get it done i know and that's where i so what i'm gonna do <laughs> to help you with this is i will text you <laughs> good thing you can't see my face when you if text. i text you you have to do it <clears throat> that means you're gonna text me like 10 times a day no i'm just gonna text out? you are you working out are you working out are you working out? <laughs> I'm just going to text you. Are you going to work out today? If I don't get a response, then I'm going to hound you about it. Dang it. It worked <laughs> the other day. I texted you, asked you if you were going to work out. You said you were thinking about it. I know, but it's just, I've just so, been so tired, and this week was really a long week. It was a long week. And then with having to be at work at 4 o'clock in the morning the day after Christmas didn't really help. I feel like I just have it. Oh, well. I have it caught up. It's crazy when you put in almost 40 hours, but yet you have days off in the middle of the week, and you're like, how did that happen? <laughs> oh, well. It happens. I know. So, yeah, I, I'm going to work on that, and then just work on reading the scriptures and reading our lessons for church, even though we aren't currently in Sunday school because we teach Sunday school to the younger kids. But I'm excited about our class this year. I we get to kind of we get to team teach. We do. I'm kind of nervous because I've never taught with him a class, so I'm afraid he's going to be like, "Wow, she's kind of weird when she teaches." But nope. <clears throat> so now I feel self conscious about that. And then we do have a kid who has autism that will be in our class. So he's going to be fun. And I'm kind of I've never worked with a kid with autism before. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm at the same time, I'm kind of excited for the challenge, which that's never happened to me before. I've never really been excited for a challenge like that to happen. So maybe I'm getting wiser as I get older. I'm excited to have him in class. And he seems like he's a good kid. He is. He's always got a smile on his face. He does. <clears throat> so, and we do have a smaller class. They did give us less kids because we have the one with autism. So I think we have four other kids plus him. 
So it will be a small class, which I think will be okay to handle. I don't think it's a po I don't think it's a negative. I think it's a positive. I just want to make sure that they have fun because they're coming straight out of nursery and they have to learn how to sit during a lesson. They do have to learn some patience. <clears throat> yeah, and that we're gonna have fun though in class. We are. There's gonna be. This is where I get to do the crafts and kind of do things so that they can. We get to color. We yeah, they can color. I've got crayons. So. I don't have crowns. I ate them. Oh, okay. I don't know what to say to that. It was cut off guard. I'm kidding. I didn't eat my crowns. I ate, my, I ate the paste. Oh, jeez. You're not kidding. I used to do that. It doesn't surprise me. But anyway, paste, it had that stick inside on the, that was attached to the lid. You, it worked like a spoon. That was like rubber cement. No, it wasn't. Paste had it, too. I just had the regular Elmo. Elmer, Elmo. <laughs> Neither one of us can talk tonight. I swear it was just pop. <laughs> it was. It doesn't have any alcohol content in it. Nope. But it, I lost my train of thought. Choo choo. <laughs> er. <laughs> uh, He's gone. <laughs> no, anyway. We've taken way too much time. I think we're getting a little goofy now. We are. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're super excited about 2017. So what we're going to do is we're going to end it right here. And we are going to get 2017 started. Let's get this party started. You. <laughs> Anyway, 2017 is going to be a great year. You guys are coming with us. Stay tuned for everything that we've got coming up. That's like another challenge. I don't know if I'm ready for... What's next? We're going somewhere tomorrow. I know. I'm excited. I'm excited. They're coming with us. Oh, they are? I think so. Okay. Yeah. We talked about it. I think briefly. Brief. I'm not wearing briefs. I'm not talking about that. I'm oh. talking about the show. They don't want to know what you wear as long as you got clothes on. I'm not wearing pants. Yes, he is wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and you didn't laugh at my block party joke? I did. It was funny. I was dying on the inside. Really? Mm-hmm. It was so funny you forgot to laugh? No, I was tie-dying. I was thinking about tie-dying. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Anyway, we got it. Yes. We have got to end this. <laughs> okay. They're not watching reality shows. But they love us. They they really are because this is like far better than anything <laughs> you watch reality. on reality TV. This is what happens. This in the is Stafford household. <laughs> this is full blown reality TV at its finest. No filter. No fi hashtag no filters. <laughs> no retakes. No retakes. <laughs> this is one cut and we're done. I don't know. I just want to keep laughing. Okay. So we're done. We're wrapping it up. What else do you have? I know. Thank you for helping us in 2016 and helping me come out of my shell a little bit because I think when we started the vlog, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't very good at it. So I feel like you're staring right at me. Anyways, you're making me lose. No, put it down. <laughs> Come on, they don't have all day. I, d I don't know. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> for watching our vlog. And we hope you enjoy the next year's vlog and all of our adventures and goofiness and <laughs> silliness. Thank you guys so much. You guys are incredible friends and family to be um, a part of us and our lives. Uh, thank you for opening up and accepting us. <laughs> And into being That's a part a of your fa it is <laughs> being a part of your family. Um, but you guys, we've talked about this many, many times. You guys are at our kitchen table right here with us. Um, but this is what we want. We want to share a lot of these things with you. Um, more of this will. I I'll explain this further detail on the first Thursday thought. Um, but. Thank you guys so much. Seriously. And, and 
from the bottom of both of our hearts. We love you guys. You guys are more than friends. You guys are family. Um, I, I can't think of a better group of people we want to spend our time with than you guys. Uh, so thank you again. Um, if you enjoyed 2016 up until this point, uh, or at least yesterday's point, um, hit the like button down below. Let us know. Um, and share it with your friends. Invite them to come along with us. And subscribe. And subscribe. That's right. Make sure you are subscribed. Um, but with all of that being said, we love you guys so much. Thanks and God bless.